Hello, my scales. Justice. My Libras. Welcome to my lovers. My name is Kelly, for those who know. Welcome to all the newbies. Please like, share, and subscribe to the channel if you have not already done so. Libra. Who do you have over here, honey? They are trying to dig up dirt. They are looking at you, or you're looking at this person like this person is a cloud chaser. Um, you feel like someone or someone is very in their head, overthinking, analyzing, trying to find some sort of information. For some of you, someone could believe that you are trying to get away with the fact that you are into the same sex. You could like men. Um, but someone's trying to dig up some dirt on you. Um, but I feel like for you, you feel like either you or this person, they say and do anything. Like, um, <laughs> they like to chase for clout about who they know, um, how much money they have, what's their status. Whoever this person is, they're like a pleasure seeker. They do things for attention is how you're feeling or how this person feels about you. Um, but there is someone as well for some of you who you want to have a reunion with. But there is an enemy lurking around. So, Spirit is saying be careful in this time. You're going to have people who are doing things just for some recognition. Mm-hmm. That, yes, then I say this it could be someone from your past um, that you ended things with. This person wants to reconcile with you. Um, I feel like you and this person could have had some, you know, decent memories, or this person wants to travel towards you to reconcile. And this was the world with judgment. So this is a divine, um, a divine moment that is meant to take place. And then we have the sun. Oh, my gosh. Y'all have four major arcana back to back. And then we have the hangman. So somebody's in deep contemplation trying to figure out. It could be dealing with a Leo. Um, you could be waiting on a Leo to contact you. You're trying to figure out. Are, is things going to grow with you and this person? Um, I feel like um, for some of you as well, there could have been... Um, an ending to a pregnancy you could have um, this person could have been pregnant and this could have bared a son fourth and for some of you some of you have a son with this person I mean, someone sees you as a sweetheart. They feel like you're a sweetheart and they want to reunite with you, but there is this enemy lurking. You need to find out what that's about. Okay, sweetheart. Why is sweetheart here for the Libra? Okay. Thank you. The bottom here, the three of pentacles. So we have the eight of cups, the three of wands, and the four of swords. So for some of you, some of you could have just moved um, or you could be waiting on the go ahead to move to a new location. Um, I feel like though right now, you're just trying to relax and enjoy where you are. Um, as well as someone could want to offer you an opportunity to be able to move. I feel like someone wants to have a conversation with you. They want to, and this could as well be in a work situation. So, for work, some of you may be moving to a new location. Um, some of you could be getting ready to go on vacation as well. Um, someone could want to take you on vacation. Ooh, look at this, Seven of Souls, the Tower. So, I feel like for some of you, someone feels as though you're a sweetheart, but at the same time, they feel like, you know... You do try to get away with things. Um, some of you could be moving out of a home because you found out that someone slept with someone in your home. 
and you are ready now to go in a new direction. You are turning your back on the whole situation. So, whoever this is, you walked away from this person. I feel like you felt like you needed to move. Um, some of you could have moved across the world. You could have moved to another country. Okay, let's see. Why is the Eight of Cups here? Um, I feel like it wasn't an easy transition, though. But I feel like once you got over this, so whoever this is, you could be somewhere, maybe on an island. This water is very blue. Um, you could be somewhere on the islands. Um, could be a really fair-skinned, blonde-haired woman as well. Yeah, it's empty. So, I feel like... I feel like, Libra, you felt like you needed to cut ties with this emperor. Could be a husband, could be your child's father. But some of you feel like, yeah, this is your husband. Your husband, we have the hierophant out here. So I feel like you felt like that you had to. You feel like this person is very immature. They charm you. They say what they what, what they feel like you want to hear. Um, and you felt like it was time for you to go ahead and just cut ties with this person. I feel like at this time you are resting, relaxing, and you're focused on yourself. Look at this. You're focused on yourself. You like, look, I'm taking a break from all the bullshit. I'm just going on and I'm going to go travel, go in a new direction, and I'm going to let you do what you do. Yeah, you're in hermit mode. Wow. Could be dealing with a Virgo. You're in hermit mode. You like, yeah, I just, I need a break from all this shit. Like, I can't, and I'm not. <laughs> yes, Lee, really was that I can't, and I'm not. But this person wants to come back. This person definitely wants to come back. Again, with that uh, Knight of Cups energy. This person like want, willing to sing their song. And at this point, they feel like they're willing to do whatever they got to do to get this new beginning of stability with you. But look at this right here. Falseness. Falseness. There, there's no truth. You feel like there's no truth to this person. Like you, you've, seen, you've seen a lot of their tricks. You've seen a lot of their tricks. Six of Wands. So someone wants to to want a victory with you. This could be some of you all. Could be um, some of you could be reuniting with a basketball team as well. I see that here. A basketball team could want you to come back and um, come back to their team. That's for some of you. Um, some of you could be in a wheelchair as well. Someone that possibly is now in a wheelchair could be wanting to have a victory with you, come back and reunite with you. What about the six of wands, please? Move another for the six of wands. The hangman. <sighs> so this person is waiting by the phone. This could be a Scorpio that you're dealing with. Um, this person could be waiting by the phone, or this person could be in jail. So this Scorpio could have um, gone to jail recently as some sort of judgment. But I feel like this person is hoping that you don't leave them for someone else. Yeah, exactly. And as I say that, look at this. The Seven of Cups with the Four of Wands. They're hoping that you do not leave them for someone else. They see that you have a lot of options. Some of you, you have men and women coming towards you with all types of different uh, offers. And this person is feeling like that you no longer want to be with them anymore for a lot of you some of you could have divorced um this person was still out playing the field entertaining other people um for some of you like i say the divorce could be final this person is feeling sad in the back right ace of swords comes out which means i am telling the truth 
You cut this person out. You decided that you're going to be single with this Nine of Pentacles energy. Um, yeah, and you're going to just take, you're just going to move. You don't have time to keep going back and forth with this person. Exactly. Look, this Knight of Cups energy in this deck. Look at this. So whoever this is, remember I said at the beginning of the reading, for some of you, this person could be very afraid to find for you to find out that they are they mess with both sexes they like men and they like women um in this card i feel like the energy i'm picking up this is his younger beau and this is the you know probably the main squeeze the one who gets taken out a lot because you know the social status and status quo um hmm. all right let's see what this ace of swords is about i'm gonna clarify this ace of swords yeah, after you found out this truth, though, I feel like you was like, look, <laughs> I'm good. Ace of Swords. What about the Ace of Swords? Queen of Wands. So, you, you could have found out about a mistress. Or your person found out about a mistress. Um, somebody that's very appealing. Yep, look, there go that hangman. And they feel like you sacrificed the relationship for whoever this was. Whoever this was, you had, um, you've known this person for a very long time. Um, you or them, they battled themselves with this. They were spying, gossiping possibly about you or, you know, or your person um, or the other person. But someone is manifesting you. They want you back again. Yeah. Someone wants to have sex as well, but be careful. Somebody may be burning for some of you. <laughs> you know you had that fire they got that fire pings <laughs> be careful use protection especially if they out here with options they mess with men and women I'm just saying I ain't knocking you for what you do just be safe while you're doing it um, tell me about this queen of wands and the hangman please queen of wands and the hangman seven of wands but somebody put up some boundaries Ooh, King of Wands. This is a match here. Oh. So the truth is that this person, because they see you as their match. You match their fire. You match their, like, it's like you possess everything that they do. I feel like you could be a bitch at times, and so can they. <laughs> you could be an asshole at times, and so can they. But I feel like someone is getting ready to come in, whoever this king of wands. Um, they're getting ready to come in, and um, I feel like they're about to be really resilient. They're about to let you know and let everybody else around know, too. <laughs> Libra's mine. Libra's off limits. Libra's off limits. Mm. Let's see what's going on with this enemy. I don't like this little fucker here sneaky hiding behind a damn tree so he one of them fuckers that throw stones and then hide it then hide one throw a rock and then hide mm -hmm. Devil could be dealing with a Capricorn. Sometimes too many though. I can't take that many. Why is the enemy here? Why is enemy here, spirit? Angels, okay. Let's see here. The moment. So someone. Oh, this energy don't feel good right here. Someone has some really deep secrets that they're holding close to their heart. Really deep secrets. Talking about the moon card. Talking about the moon card. How's the moon here? I almost had a 
jumper. Why would you need you? Oh, Libra, your purse set. Oh, this purse set. And they're keeping this shit. Did I say it's close? Yeah. Some truth. This truth, they feel like this truth is a burden, though. It's whoever this is, is killing this person that they have to hide this. With this Ten of Wands energy, someone could be hiding the fact that they're dealing with a Sagittarius. Let's see. The Moon, Ace of Swords. The Moon and the Ace of Swords, please. And thank you, the Moon and the Ace of Swords. The Moon and the Ace of Swords. The Hermit. So, if you're dealing with a Virgo, this person, yeah, and this Hermit card came up again. This person, they know a lot of your secrets. You've been with this person for a very long time, and you feel like that this person could put your business on social media. Somebody could be searching through your phone. Mmm. And we had the chariot in the reverse. Ooh, you feel like whoever this is could alter the course of your destiny. Well, whatever this information is. Okay, justice, yeah. Um, I feel like for some of you, you wanted to try to go get marriage counseling. It's per you, you know, your person could have been like, no, or they could have presented it to you, and you're like, no. Yeah, so I feel like, yeah. <sighs> oh, boy. Tell me about the moon. The three. That's a lot. Tell me about the moon, the ace of swords, and the hermit. Six of cups again. So this is definitely someone from your past. A past love. Nine of wands. King of wands. Back out here again. <laughs> Whoever this is a crafty fucker. Uh, mm -hmm. This person wants it all. All, 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 all. Hiding feelings. So they're hiding their feelings. That they're heartbroken by the situation. Or this could be you hiding your feelings. Yeah. Someone wants a higher level of commitment. They want the Ten of Pentacles. Some of you could be dealing with an Aquarius. Um, this person is hiding their feelings. Um, they're heartbroken at this time. But something in this situation is getting ready to change. I feel like this person has been really hard for this person to dare to show their feelings. They fear being vulnerable with you. Let's see why. Let's see why. Let's see why. Let's see why. Why does this person fear being vulnerable with Libra? Why does this person feel fear being vulnerable with Libra? Why is this person feeling they can't be vulnerable with the Libra? Well, either this person feels like you could feel insecure as well, Libra. You know, energy is for it. Please like, share, and subscribe, people, to the channel. Thank you. A lot of different messages in this read, babe. Oh, I'm so... Whoever this is, this fucker is good. Oh my god, how are you feeling? Why are they not feeling vulnerable? That is entirely good. Why are they feeling they cannot be vulnerable with Libra? But this as well could be the enemy, your fears. You fearing that this person. Hmm. Okay, we about to, yeah. 
Hmm. And we have the Hierophant here twice. Some of you, you could be dealing with the Taurus. This person wants to reconcile and they see you as wish fulfillment, but they feel like time is running out in this situation. Um, this person could have been juggling. Yeah, and then we keep saying, I keep saying the Ten of Pentacles. We have the Ten of Cups, we have the Ten of Pentacles here. Then here, yeah. Hmm. Interesting. All right, let's get another spray right quick. See what we got going on here. All right, let's see. Whatever this is, definitely, baby, they trying to find out, dig up some dirt. So for some of you, someone knew that you were married. You want to make it seem like they didn't know. They knew. For some, someone feels like you could be neglecting your child. There could be some child neglect uh, accusations for some people. That's not for everybody. Yeah. Somebody's a drama starter. Whole fucking clown. They sit back, eat popcorn and shit. Why the shit pop off, but they act like they had no involvement. Yeah, you're dealing with someone who's obsessed. Could be dangerous, toxic. Definitely dealing with a karmic that's either chasing you or you're chasing them. And it's the same shit, different day with this person. Nothing has changed. So, if you feel like, that, you know, you thought a situation was going to improve, change yourself... person has not changed not in the least bit let's see what we have here Ooh, okay so someone has hope someone has hope a little bit <laughs> this is like that blind phase you know just going with it hoping that things work out for the best so you're really hoping that someone takes your offer but you feel like whoever this is this person is kind of possessive and obsessive oh that they love you <laughs> hope love oh my gosh are you dealing with an aquarius libra Hope, faith, love, that's all Aquarius. Messenger. So, some of you, you could be getting ready to get a message. Um, someone may want to go out of town with you. May want to take you somewhere. I feel like, oh, some of you could be dealing with a Gemini. Oh, this is definitely about a lover. Um, but you feel like this person is like they shower you with all this stuff and then next thing you know they go ghost they shower you with all this love and then the next thing you know they go ghost someone could also want ghost because they just got out of the just got a divorce as well that was in the first spread and about hope about hope temperance so having patience I feel like you are have when it comes to a family situation you're having more patience um, you're balancing yourself yourself <laughs> um, tell me more about temperance what's temperance here Uh, temperance here. Please and thank you. Okay. What's temperance here? Please and thank you. you the three of pentacles and the sun. So, yeah, I feel like you're being patient. 
trying to work on your family some of you could have gone through counseling like you were some of you could have been headed for divorce okay so all of you may not have gotten divorced completely you could just be in separation because we do keep seeing the hermit come out so you could just be in separation at this time um but there is um like the love that you guys are shared that you guys have shared i feel like you feel like you know if y'all take y'all time, things can get back to where they used to be. It's going to be a journey. It's going to be a long road traveled. But I feel like you feel like that it can be savage, salvaged. Okay, tell me about the Three of Pentacles. Someone could have had a son outside of the marriage. Yes, the moon. Um, as I said that, wow, I'm going to take these. Then we have the Nine of Cups. We have the Queen of Wands and the Seven of Swords. Then I say that someone could have had a son outside, had a child, a son outside of their marriage. Um, mm. Divine time, man. Patience needed to run into the unknown mirroring. Um, you and this person. <clears throat> I feel like y'all both play mind games with each other. Y'all both uh, are kind of toxic and betray each other in your connection um you guys could be overwhelmed and burdened by a lot of responsibilities as well tell me about this divine time yeah something needs to end and transform something needs to end and transform in this dynamic before it can move any further i feel like there's a real conversation that needs to be had but i feel like someone had a child outside of the marriage but whoever this is you still love your spouse you want to be back with your spouse you don't want to lose them but you're trying to figure out how how are you all going to get ooh, okay i'll take what flipped over you're trying to figure out how are you guys going to be able to move past this because now it's one thing for infidelity it's a whole nother ball game, baby, when a baby is involved. Because now you have to really, you're stuck with that per dealing with that person. You know, that, yeah, mm-hmm. Your past is wish fulfillment, but somebody was trying to get they with, get, 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 get they schlong wet. And they got cussed out about it. Whoever this is, yeah, you was trying to move real fast. Could have been dealing with a younger air sign. Mm-hmm. King of Cups. That you felt some, had some very strong feelings for. Very strong feelings for. You want to communicate to this person. This is for me. I feel like this could be for another set of Libras. I'm not sure. Thank you so much. I Let's dig out the morning. <laughs> dig out the morning. So let's see what's going on with this. Uh, I want to see what's going on with this Ace of Wands and Knight of Swords. Let's clarify the Ace of Wands, Knight of Swords. Unawakened. Someone is unawakened. Someone is only thinking about, yeah, cannot be trusted. Long wait. So whoever this is, the death card could be dealing with a Scorpio. This situation is like, they want to communicate to you that this situation is over. Again, like I say, this eight of pentacles keep coming out. This is about working on a relationship, but as you see in this card, it reflects two men. So, this could be a same-sex relationship. Um, one of you are unawakened to the connection. Could be a Scorpio. Divine time and mirroring again. Yeah. Tell me more about this person that cannot be trusted. Unawakened and can't be trusted. And yeah, someone could as well could be making false promises. We have Page of Cups waiting. Yeah, they had you waiting. Made, I feel like this is like major love bombing. Queen of Pentacles. They, they they had no intention to a cup. So whoever this Queen of Pentacles, they could be with an Earth sign. Then we have the Knight of Cups. Yeah, telling you whatever they feel like. 
they needed to tell you in order for you to stay stuck okay yes this person was giving you a lot of mixed signals one minute saying that they wanted you know to be with you and they saw you as their person but then it's like spirit is saying this person has no more time none yeah divine timing no more running this person's not gonna be able to run either they're gonna shit or get off the pot six of wands there you go that's all i'm saying you and this person y'all could be high profile y'all both could be very popular people um in your community or just where you're from and this person feels like you know there's a lot of people that's in your business and i feel like it's going to take a while for whoever this is to wake up so it's like libra do you feel like it's worth this you know is it worth you sticking around for this we're going to do a message and then we're going to um do messenger and then i'm going to try to get you an oracle and then get you an advice and then we out of here wow let me about messenger what is this message coming through for the lead room tell me about messenger so whoever this is, this person, they're unawakened to you because they could be in a, they, like I say, this person could be, you know, have a open sexuality. They could like men and women. They could be bisexual. Like they want to have you and their other person on their arm. Oh, okay. So it must be some truth. Woo, with the high priestess coming out, baby. Yeah. I just hit that right on the nose. I hit that right on the nose. And this person, they're burdened by this. They don't like the fact that if they don't if they don't know that you know, or if they think you have an idea, this is a big burden for them. Um Wow, it's a lot of cars that fell up. This is a big burden for them. So this is why they may want to come off like they just want to be single. Hmm, tell me about oh Queen of Swords. There you go, Libra. Hmm, so Queen of Swords with the Seven of Swords, High Priestess. So I feel like you know that this person is seeing somebody else. It's somebody else that's creeping out. I don't know if this person got punched in the face or if that's her makeup. But hopefully you ain't whooped nobody ass coming out the dude window. Yeah, I feel like you've gone ghost on this person. You pulled your energy back on this person. You feel like they're very immature and when it comes to their emotions. It's like one minute and as I say that, the Ace of Swords come out, I'm telling the truth. This person is very immature when it comes to emotions. Um, they're more in and out, very flighty. One minute they want to be with you, next minute they don't. They cold, they ghost, they go in hermit mode on a regular. You don't know why. That type of energy. Tell me about the high priestess, please. And then we're going to get an oracle. Thank you. Four of pentacles. Yeah, they hold back a lot. They could be holding back communication as well at this time. So you could be sending this person messages and they could be, you know, not responding. No equal give and take. Um, like one wants to give love, the other one is looking at money. So you all can have a difference in what you all feel like love is. But someone could want to take it really slow. We got the Six of Pentacles, Knight of Pentacles. I'll tell you about this. Um, mm -hmm. The hair thing. Seven of Cups. Yeah, someone needs to go through a dark night of the soul. Ghosting. Didn't I just say that? Eight of Pentacles. Holding back. Insecurity. He said it's keeping them held back. They may feel like they're not at your level. Um, they can see, some of you, you can see that 
Yeah. You gonna I feel like you're gonna keep fighting for this though. This emperor. You wanna keep fighting for this person. Alright. A lot of little energy going on there. Uh, <laughs> yeah, but you chasing whoever this is. If this person is chasing you, or you're chasing them. So let's see. What are some triggers? Okay. For this person, nurture healthy relationships, Libra. True love will be yours. So, when you start come interacting with people that you know are more healthy for you, that aren't out doing toxic things, um, entertaining toxic behaviors, yes, setting boundaries, there you go. When you start setting these boundaries, you know, stop giving to people who only take, and they're not really giving back to you. Lesson. Take this as a lesson learned. Yeah, that's why I say don't don't fall back into bad to bad behaviors, bad habits. Um, whoever this is that you're dealing with, oh, see, you're no longer addictions are no longer holding you back. This is in a reverse. You've given up a lot of your toxicity. You've given up probably I feel like smoking, drinking, and all that stuff. You've 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 <laughs> you've released yourself from this. Um, you do have a lot of friends that are, you know, around you that is giving you support. I feel like a lot of people are now recognizing you for who you really are. And Spirit is saying, move on. There is a third party in this situation, okay? Move on. Don't look back. You're not going that way, okay? We have 22 right here on the clock. What is that? 11-11. New beginnings. Get to it. Get to it. Stay in your new beginning. Don't let this person set you back. Whoever this is, you like, I feel like you went through some stuff with whomever this person is. But don't let this person set you back. You, you've come too far, Libra. So that's what I have. Oh, no. We did say we're going to get some advice. We can't do it like that. What advice do you have? All right. Let's see here. What advice do you have for me, spirit, angels, and guides? And thank you for watching all of this reading. Don't let this person stop your new beginning. You've come too far. You've come too far. Yeah, four pentacles. You know, stop holding tight of what was in the past. Let it go. Someone doesn't want to give up, but at the same time, it's like, you're manifesting what it is you want. You see it in front of you. Ooh, again, here goes this Aquarius. <laughs> Who is this fucker here? Uh, five of Pentacles. So, somebody could possibly leave you in the cold. Um... And sometimes this could be you self-sabotaging with certain patterns that you may have. You may be pushing away opportunities, communications, or gifts. Um, it's time to be honest with yourself in your situation. That's the advice. Be honest with yourself. Um, don't lose faith in your connection is what it's saying right here. Crazy. So for some of you, you know, if you want your, for the, the ones who were married, um, if you want your person back, spirit is saying, don't lose faith that you can, you know, that, that things are, that things will be completely severed. Um, spirit is also saying that you could be also blocking your heart chakra. You need to work on that. Um, and don't be, don't be limited by only what you see. Now is the time for you to dream big and explore all the possibilities that you can explore. Like, this is not the time to limit yourself. I feel like you should be in a twin flame union because if one chasing, one running. And what did the 
one of the cards says it's not, it's no more running. It's time to stop running. Divine timing. So, yes, whoever this twin flame, this person that you're in this twin flame union with, it's time for both of you to stop. It's time for one of y'all to stop running. Yes. Transmute any fears or insecurities that arise. You have the power of everything you need within you. So, that's your advice. Libran, I hope these messages help and resonate. Please like, share, and subscribe to the channel if they do. And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.